When would you use parallel stream? Uh, you would use parallel stream when you want to parallelize the, the operation that happens. Okay, so here, let's take this example. Okay, what you're doing, okay, let's take this one. What you're doing is you're trying to do a an operation on a stream. And when you do the stream, all you're doing is running them all in the same thread. Using parallel streams allows you to split it into multiple threads. But there are a bunch of caveats there that uh, are beyond the scope of this course. So I'm not going to cover that. Parallel stream allows you to use the built-in parallelization so that you have multiple, let's say you have multiple cores, multiple processors on your machine. It allows you to kind of split that and say, okay, I don't expect these things to happen sequentially. So just go do, you know, whichever order or however you want. I just want the result, right? All right. Without a flat map, it would be a stream of stream of user. That's right. That's right. So each of this would be a stream of stream of user. So when you do a for each, each value that you're going to get back is going to be stream of user. But the stream itself, what this thing returns is a stream of a stream of user. Yes. Okay. One important concept, another important concept that I want you to take away from this thing, because I'm going to draw an analogy here as well, is that each step here is returning a new stream. The very vital concept to understand this is this is true for when we look at reactive programming as well. What you have here, what I've selected, is a certain stream. Okay. If I were to do var s equals s is a stream. Okay. This is a stream of integer. Now I can do s dot flat map. Okay. Now I'm going to get another stream, S1. And then I'm going to do S1 dot for each. I'm going to say var S2 equals S1 dot for each. This looks a little tedious, but this is kind of what we did. This is exactly what we did. Okay. Okay. This for each is not going to return me a stream, right? So this. Seems unnecessary, but this is kind of what we did when we chain, right? Every time you do a chaining operator, you're actually getting a new stream, okay? And you're calling an operator on that stream. Very important. Remember, this is going to become very applicable later as well. All right. So we did exercise one. Thank you for participating. That was just the warm up.